Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last episode, we went through Tiloho, got a cannon, which I had showed off a glitch, we got another summon, and we reached here in the northern reaches of the map. If you guys see right here, this place doesn't appear to be on the map. We're all the way north. In today's episode, we're going to be going into the frozen wasteland village of Crocs. This is Saturo's Minority Karst and Agatio's hometown. We're pretty much in enemy territory right now. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't call it enemy territory. For, good, for obvious reasons. Now let's go up here. Felix, welcome back to Prox. It seems like only Mars Lighthouse still needs lighting. Agatio didn't think you'd be coming back here, so I'm a little surprised to see you. All the people here are kind of surprised to see you. Once the final lighthouse is lit, the winds should weaken. They keep getting stronger, though. That's not a good sign. Um, before we do anything, I'm going to go into the inn because there's actually a little itty-bitty item in there. I think it's over here. Can't be sure. Let's reveal. I think it might be downstairs. Let me go looky. Cash reveal. Yep, it's in that jar. Okay. We accept the jar. We got a potion. Okay, good. Now, the second item, if I recall here, is over here. Come over here. Real quick. Okay, actually, I have to cast lift real quick. You guys probably saw it. Cast lift here on this rock. Come up across here. We can walk across all the way over here. Felix checks the ground. There's something buried here, but I can't take it up with hand. Let's cast Scoop. And voila, we drop some Dark Matter. Ooh, Dark Matter is going to be good. <laughs> Trust me, um, after the next episode, after this one, I'm going to be going back and doing some stuff, so don't worry about it. Okay, let's go up here. I remember this house here. Agatio and Karst left for Mars Lighthouse a little while ago. Oh, they haven't come back, eh? That's not a good sign. Actually, it's not this house. It's the next one over. Felix, you're back! And you learned how to use Psy Energy? I can sense the power inside you. It's strong! Thanks, kid. I think the item's in here. Cast reveal. Nope, not there. I think it might be downstairs again. Yet again, it might be downstairs. Yeah, there's a lot of jars down here. I'd, I'd be surprised if there wasn't anything. I stand corrected. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, it's gotta be here somewhere. I think it might be in this box. Hmm. Here? No. It's gotta be here somewhere. Don't forget, Felix, your mother and father are staying in the north end of Prox. Oh, well, that's good to know. We, we can probably go see our parents right now. <laughs> I forgot all about my parents and I'm sitting here trying to find stuff. Uh, hold on a sec. I'm sure it's here somewhere. What is it? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Okay, good. We got a sacred feather. Sacred feathers, um, I don't know if I went over this. Sacred feathers work like a void. Or they reduce the, the encounter rate of monsters. So keep that in mind. And also, there's one more thing here we need to get. Uh, I think I'm going to just go up here. Go this way. Up north. There's a Venus Jenny there. Come over here and we knock him over. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. Come over here and he's buried in snow. We cast Scoop. We can help free him. Sorry about that, little buddy. And upon getting that, we get this for Venus Jenny. <laughs> Isaac found the Venus Jenny mold. What mold does? He strikes a foe. Um, <laughs> that's boring. <laughs> I thought he did something else besides that. Anyways, I'm going to be 
in a little bit I'm going to be switching up my parties and whatnot. So, never you mind that. I think there might be something here. I'm not sure. I don't, nope, there's nothing. Uh, let's go up here. We got all the stuff we can get in procs, item wise and whatnot. I think it's the last town then in the game, too, so we got all, like, the extra itty-bitty items from the game, from the towns. It used to be cold up here in Prague, but lately it just seems to be getting worse. Yeah, that's because the Mars Lighthouse isn't lit. It's not a good thing. I've been keeping a close eye on the northern skies. Once I see a bright flash in the distance, I'll know the last beacon has been lit. Now, for, let's go over this way, because they mentioned something about Felix's parents being in the north end of Prox here. So let's go and talk to them. Oh! They're not here. What?! Strange. We looked all over the village. We can't find any, any trace of them at all. But everyone says they practically vanished without a trace. It's so strange. You don't think they... They wouldn't have gone to the lighthouse. Yeah, you're probably right. Polly's Polly's going to be upset that we we didn't follow his order to free them, though. He was clear about it too. When Felix returns to Prox, set his parents free. That's not a good sign. Felix took a t took the trouble of coming back for his parents. Now they're just gone. Polly ordered me to set your parents free. That's why I'm here now. The only thing is, no one else is here. I don't know where your parents went. That's not a good sign. Ugh, they're not here. Um, I need to keynote something. If you did not transfer your data from Golden Sun 1, there would be a Mercury Genie in this room. Reason why is because they're trying to catch up on certain Genie that you probably missed in the, in the first game. But they don't, they don't do that to all the Ginny that you missed in the first game. They only do it to a certain number of them. Yeah, they would, uh, there would be a Mercury Ginny in this house if that was the case. But since I've already gotten all the Ginny from the first game, don't need to worry about that. Alright, now that we investigated our parents aren't there, let's go on the other side. We can't wait for a Gatio and his men any longer. If we wait much longer, the wind and snow will make it impossible to reach the lighthouse. I'm going to the lighthouse. Will any of you come with me? Polly, I can't let you go on your own. If something were to happen to you, who would lead our village? Please, you must let us go in your state. How can you expect to accomplish what Agatio and Karst could not? They may have been, have been more powerful than any of us, but we just can't stand by. They're not coming back, just like Saturus. You have to let us try. I can't. I can't allow it. Listen to your elder. He speaks wisely. I'm speaking to you too, Polly. Agatio and Cars cannot do the task. How can you, a single man, hope to do so? What are you saying? If we don't stand around debating, our town is doomed for certain. We can't risk sacrificing any more lives. So we must sit here and wait for a miracle to come. Well, here's your miracle. You! Felix, it's you! I heard that you had returned to us. You look much more stronger than you first left. He seems to have brought some allies with him. Yes, I am Kraden. My name is Isaac. Isaac! Isn't that... Isn't that the name of the one Agatio said killed Saturo's minority? Oh god. Isaac, stop that. You are correct. But Isaac had his own reasons for fighting them. Saturus and Minardi had invaded Vale. Stolen his sacred treasure, triggered a volcano. You cannot blame Isaac for pursuing them and fighting to regain what they had stolen. 
We only wanted to stop them. We didn't think we'd think they'd fight us to the death. They flung themselves into the opening of Venus Lighthouse's beacon. The Saturus Minardi put up a good fight. I bet you thought you didn't stand a chance against them, huh? You probably really tensed the whole time. Saturus and Minardi had their job to do. That was all. If I had been in your shoes, I'd have done the same thing. I can't blame you. See, these people are more... Appall... More... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More sympathetic towards Isaac than Gatio and Karst is. This is the... I mean, Isaac didn't really kill them. They really just... They flung themselves in the Venus Beacon. <sighs> this is what I just don't get. Why can't they be more sympathetic towards Isaac than, like, these people can? And in the end, you were stronger than they were. You should have be proud of that. See, these people are being very nice to him. I am sad that they lost their lives on our quest, but there was no avoiding it. What has what has happened is cannot be undone. We should cooperate to find a way to save Wayar. We understand that Agatio and Karas had made for Mars Lighthouse and not returned. Then all that remains for us is to wait until Gaia Falls carries us all to our doom. Oh gosh. Seems that Mars Lighthouse is as dangerous as all the rest. We only have a few soldiers remaining, and none who can make the climb to that area. Only Saturos and perhaps Agatio were strong enough to reach the top. None of them can help us now. So, you think we can do it? Yeah, we've climbed three! I agree, Felix. We climbed three lighthouses already. What's one more? Let's go to Mars Lighthouse. They've proven themselves strong enough. I say we trust in Felix to do this. This is an unexpected turn of events. But yes, I think you can light the lighthouse. Off to Mars Lighthouse. Let's go, Felix. Come on, Isaac. There's one thing I don't want you to forget. In order to light the beacon of Mars Lighthouse, you will have to you will need the hat. You will need to have the Mars Star. Ugh, and Agatio and Karst have the Mars Star now. You must find Agatio and Karst, and you must take the Mars Star from them. Thanks for your help. The future way our rests in your hands. Let's talk to these guys real quick. Is that you, Felix? When did you return to Fro Prox? You should take your parents back to Vale so they can at least die in their hometown. Unfortunately, we can't, because they're gone. We can't find them. If we were better adepts, we could go try to enter the lighthouse ourselves. I feel so helpless. Agatio has not returned, and the lighthouse beacon still remains unlit. All we can do is wait for Agatio and his men to return. But no honest soldier can sit idle. I leave by while the so others do all the work. Our energy feels weak. I can sense it inside me. The water, earth, and wind lighthouse has been lit, but fire alone remains dark. Polly promised that he would return our hostages to Vale. If you don't believe me, ask him yourself. Felix, you're the only hope left to us now. Good luck. You must find cars. Get the Mars Star and light the lighthouse. We have a daunting task upon us. Now we we exit on the other side of, of uh, Prox. Now we're heading towards the last dungeon in the game. The last dungeon in the game. Mars Lighthouse stands right before us. Uh, I think I'm, I'm almost tempted because I don't want to go tackle this right now. This 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 uh, this tent dungeon is very very long. And to be honest, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm only going to tackle half of it before I leave again. Yeah, I'm only going to be tackling half of Mars Lighthouse before I, I leave and go do other things. Because there's actually optional bosses um, that hold key summons. Oh, hold on a second. We had a little search there. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, 
yeah, I'm only going to be tackling half of this dungeon in order to get a certain item before I can go and do the optional bosses and optional dungeons real quick. That Those themselves are going to be like five, ten, five to six episodes or something like that. But I think, actually, I'm, I'm just going to go in here and I'll let you listen to the music. Welcome, guys, to Mars Lighthouse, the last dungeon in the game. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go inside. Now, um, actually, I'm just going to, I'm going to be right here. In the next episode of Let's Play Gold Sun Lost Age, we are going to go and tackle half of Mars Lighthouse. The first half. Um, the first, this, the first half is, um, going to be mandatory, because there's actually, I'm going to tell you right now. This dungeon's so long, there's two, two Ginny in here. You know how I mentioned how there's going to be, like, a Ginny in every major dungeon? Yeah, this dungeon holds two of them. That's how big this dungeon's going to be. Um, but I'm gonna grab both of those, and as well as, um, two items. One being the Mars Star itself. In the next episode of Let's Play Golden Sun, we're going to do that. And then, then after that, I'm going to be leaving Mars Lighthouse. I'm going to say that right now. I'm going to be leaving it so I can go tackle the optional dungeons in the game. And those dungeons are gonna be very, very tough. But, I think I, I think I might ha be strong enough to take them on. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. I'm sorry if it was a really shorter episode than it normally does, but, yeah, I just don't want to split, I don't want to tackle this main, major, major dungeon just yet. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode.